PyCharm 2016.2 is out, continuing our commitment to frequent releases with regular progress. Let's take a tour of the major improvements. PyCharm has long had integrated visual profiling. PyCharm Professional now gains support for VMProf from the PyPy team, greatly speeding up profiling. First, add the VMProf package to your environment. This enables the new profiler support. Next, run your code under PyCharm's profiler. The profiler collects statistical data from your running code, now with less of a performance hit. When your program finishes, a tab opens with the profiler data. PyCharm Professional now has a call tree tab. You can collapse expand to show less more detail with aggregate numbers for different points of execution. Panda's usage is growing in the Python community. PyCharm previously had a special array viewer for debugging NumPy code. We now support the same for Pandas arrays. Debugger breakpoints are now richer in code with threads, providing a breakpoint option to suspend either all threads or only the corresponding thread. When debugging and stepping over a function call, the return values are now reported in the debugger's variables pane. Python packaging supports a rich format for requirement specifiers. PyCharm understands the syntax when editing a requirements.txt file. After saving, PyCharm will prompt to download the package with the extra information. Organizing your Python imports is a tedious task that PyCharm has long automated. 2016.2 adds configuration support for how PyCharm does this. Postfix code completion has been a neat way in PyCharm to speed up code writing. 2016.2 extends this to support .main and .print postfix templates. PyCharm 2016.2 has many other changes, including platform improvements. For example, the editor in PyCharm now supports add-on fonts with programming ligatures. In PyCharm, these ligatures make certain character sequences more attractive. We all spend a lot of time in our IDE, and it's nice to make it home. 2016.2 lets you choose a background image and set the opacity, adding a little bit of fun to your Python coding. PyCharm Professional's database tool is like an IDE for your database, and 2016.2 adds more features. For example, the database tool's table editor makes it easy to edit your data and filter the displayed rows. 2016.2 adds autocomplete on column names when filtering. Python developers have come to rely on PyCharm for productive coding. 2016.2 provides a nice list of steady, ongoing improvements across many aspects of the IDE.